Fighting Education, MEC Banyaza Sufi is confident his department has done well in offering placements to most pupils for the 2020 academic year. Parents whose children had not been placed were notified by SMS yesterday to go to district offices. But the situation descended into chaos because the officers were incapacitated due to staff shortages. Lisufi said the SMS had been sent prematurely. The Education Department has now extended the admission placement for the 2020 academic year to the end of November. SABC reporter Mashlako Komani is in the studio with us to tell us more about it. So, Mashlako, let's talk about the figures. Um, we know that there are more than 230,000 that needed to be placed. How many have been placed? Or rather, there have been over 230,000 that have been placed. Yes, what we know and what we heard today was that they had about 300, um, 310,000 applications that they received during this period. And correctly, yes, over 240 were then placed, 240,000. They have sitting, he said, um, 34,000 that they were they were sitting at that needed um, to be placed and still continue to be uh, needing to be placed. But what also came out of the briefing today was that they then released 6,000 spaces, um, meaning 6,000 learners or parents have now been given spaces to either accept or you know not accept um, in terms of, of, of that. So that's where the, the figures are sitting um, right now is that um, they're working until the end of November to place that 34,000 um learners that need placements. Mm. Th there was a figure of 77,000 that was touted ahead of this deadline that was looming. Where does that figure come from? It was parents who'd either not responded or not been placed. Uh, it's a huge number to suddenly have to contend with. Um, definitely. I think one of the biggest challenges uh, to be so that they said that they were facing was obviously, you know, um, if you remember yesterday when we did the story, there were a lot of parents that were chanting that um, this online system must fall. But what the MEC went out to, you know, to, to make clear was the fact that they don't have a system problem here. Rather, their problems are problems of preferences, that parent uh, prefers school A over school B. And some parents insist that my child will go to school A no matter what. And what he had said was that, you know, some schools are full to the brim. That has about um, over 300 schools. I think it's a 391 schools that are, are full to the brim and they can no longer accommodate anybody. They were, they've already tried and stretched it. And um, so I think that that is the, the biggest issue that they're saying that they're contending with is that there are certain schools that are preferred by parents over other schools. And because now parents insist that they will not, um, some parents insist that they will not accept any placement if it's not that which, which they want, which is their school of choice. So I think that's where one of their problems, um, you know, it, it, where one of their problems are. But you're right. They then did then move as you, they are now currently sitting at 34,000. But um, there were also some parents that where they were saying that there were parents that just had not accepted. And I think the resolution that they taken was that they then will accept on behalf of the parents so that they can um, keep move the system, uh, move the system and keep the system going. Mm -hmm. Now. There was a petition sent out yesterday. Parents who clearly were frustrated with the hours which the system was not working. So it's not a fallacy to say some parents experienced this. What exactly happened? How does he explain this? Yesterday's um, happenings. So what happened yesterday was that there was that SMS that was sent out telling parents to come to district offices. These were the parents that... Um, who had not been given spaces, they had not had any form of communication from the department saying that uh, when, you know, when they logged on, do, do they have a space or don't they have mm. a space? Um, then when they got to the district officers were then told that there was not enough stuff to um, deal with, with, with these parents that were there, that in fact what they had actually initially planned was to perhaps get a venue like the Dome, like one big venue and call all the districts so that parents don't have to try and figure out where's my district and arrive there and see how they can help the various uh, the parents as they as and how they arrived at that particular central area. I think last year they used the Dome, he said that where all parents converged there and they those that got helped um, got helped but I think they also managed to make the system like to cut down on the list with those parents that arrived mm -hmm. there so yesterday I think that's what happened and parents obviously getting frustrated I mean a lot of parents saying that we are going towards the end of the year we want to budget we want to you want to understand where is your okay. child going how is this affecting you so very quickly a reminder mm -hmm. to parents who obviously have to use the admissions online system mm -hmm. till the end of November 
what priorities are being given? Is it within a 30 kilometer radius? Is it your home address? What did the minister say on the, the, the new or updated regulations? Well, what the MEC had said was that he did actually explain it in his briefing was that the preference that they do give is a to residential address. That's the first right, that's the anchoring address that they work with. That is then followed by the, the sibling and then work address. And then the fourth one was outside of the, I mean, within outside of five kilometers, but within that 30 kilometer radius. Yes. But the first preference will be how close you are to the school based on your home address. Those were the people um, in terms of how people had applied. There's obviously, right now we're dealing with placements and not necessarily admissions. So we're trying to see how do they then accommodate this 34,000. Also, MEC, I just need to add this to me so that he did say that they are now going into consultation processes. We have one school, for example, um, Alberton High, had over, by the 20th of May, they had 4,000 parents that had applied. Some parents chose not to bring documents once the system was closed, that fell down to parents that actually qualify and meet the entire criteria. Mm. About 1,500 parents that meet the criteria. The school can only take 200 pupils. So those are the, that's where the issue of, where he says we have issues of preference over a system issue. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, Mahlako. And of course, later on, we will be speaking to a parent who's uh, had some experience uh, with uh, the online admission system, or at least uh, tried to, what is her experience? That's a SABC reporter. Mashaku Komani.